got the Red Book today, Volume 1 of Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. So I'm skimming through the book looking for something to make today, something that's going to like stand out and catch my eye. Uh, you know, I want to make it all. But I found something on old page 126. Ouf à la bourguignon. Eggs poached in red wine. And I heard that and I was like, okay, I gotta make that. I've poached eggs before, uh, successfully, but that was in water. I was like, poached in red wine, um, yes, please. This has caught my attention. I just wanna know what it's all about. I wanna know what it's gonna look like. I wanna know how it's done. And I wanna know if I can do it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Poach eggs in red wine. It would be great to have like a, there it is, a little refresher. So a poached egg is one that has been dropped without its shell into a pan of barely simmering liquid and cooked for about four minutes until the white is set, but the yolk remains liquid. A perfect specimen is neat and oval in shape with the white completely masking the yolk. Zip it. What the hell is wrong? Complaining refrigerator. Uh, we're just gonna have to make do with that baby behind us. Okay, so it says just a good young red wine. Honestly, honestly, I just picked up the cheapest wine I could find. This is $7.99, three quarter of a pint, which is 355-ish milliliters. Wine in the saucepan. An equal amount of beef stock. Stock in the saucepan. Bring this to a simmer. So I need eight very fresh eggs, but um, it's just me. I'm gonna do four. Still a lot, but whatever. So it wants me to just break the eggs up in the, the liquid, but I don't think that's a good idea just from, uh, you know, experience. So I am going to break them into like little glass um, bowl things like this. Of course, the idea is that I need to like keep the egg yolk intact, right? So if it breaks in this thing, then that's no good. Egg yolks are ready to go. Barely a simmer, barely a simmer. Egg goes in. And it's vanished without a trace. Things are about to get wild. I'm gonna add a second egg. As close to the liquid as you can. Try to move the egg white around the egg yolk as quickly as you can, but you have like a matter of seconds. If you don't do it though, don't worry, because I've never done that in the past. That's just what the book says. The egg white needs to just hold its shape around the egg yolk. And then I'm just gonna add that to a fireproof dish, like so. Take all the little egg stuff out, bring that back to a simmer. Tablespoon of chopped shallot into the wine, along with one mashed clove of garlic, three parsley sprigs, half a bay leaf, quarter teaspoon of thyme, pinch of pepper, this needs to be reduced down to a three quarter pint, 355-ish milliliters, which is exactly half of the liquid that I added in this prior to poaching those eggs. So I need to reduce this down to half. You remove the bay leaf and the parsley sprigs. Ow! And I'm gonna turn the heat off. Three quarter ounce of softened butter, which is around 26, 21 grams. Also need an equal amount of flour. Bowl, please. So butter into the bowl with the same amount of flour. Pizza spatula. Blend the flour and butter together until they are smooth paste. Add this flour butter thing into the wine. Oh, away from the heat. Away from the heat. Beat it with a wire whisk. Then I'm gonna bring it back to the heat and boil for 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Next up, I need canapes, 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 canapes. Ovals of white bread sauteed in clarified butter. 
So I need to make clarified butter. So I went into detail on what clarified butter is in, a, well, in another video, not too long ago, very recently actually. Judo Chop. So if you haven't seen the video in which I make the clarified butter, uh, head over there right after this one. It's the Palm Anna one. It's clarified butter, there's an epic potato dish. It's just a great time. While that butter is doing its thing, I have a leftover part of a baguette. I'm just gonna slice it up into slices like so. Clarified butter back into the pan. So just soak each piece of bread with the clarified butter, and then I'm gonna lightly brown each side. Just making this up as I go, but I'm gonna add the, the cast iron skillet, my fireproof dish over simmering water uh, to reheat these eggs. So I'm gonna keep an eye on them and hope, hopefully that works. Just before serving, I'm gonna reheat the sauce to a simmer, then add in some butter and take it off the heat. A few of my canopies or whatever. They're just broken eggs, so uh, the three will have to do. An egg on each one of these pieces of bread. I just broke an egg. Son of a... Okay, I'm just gonna go with two of these. Spoon the hot sauce over top. Okay. Order up. I mean, let's be honest, if you're poaching an egg in red wine versus water, uh, does it really matter when you pour all that sauce on top? I don't know. I enjoyed it, it was very tasty, and um, it was a very interesting plate of food. I'll just leave it at that. This was Jamie and Julia, bon appetit. See you soon.